Hi, my name is Christine McKay with Northridge Publishing, and I'm so excited to talk to you today about two of my very favorite things, Halloween and buttons. I don't know if you've had a chance yet to check out October's issue of our Cards magazine. It's on sale now on, on newsstands. You can typically uh, go find that in any um, craft retail store, or you can order it online. Um, this month is really exciting because, of course, it showcases um, Halloween cards and tags and different ideas, but there's an entire section on buttons. And I wanted to talk a little bit about that first because I've mentioned it before. Buttons are my go-to item. They're inexpensive, they're easy to find, and they're such a great way to add a little bit of interest to every page. Um, and it's also, if I have a little bit of white space or imbalance and I'm, I'm not quite sure what to do, I always reach for a button and it just seems to make it work. So I wanted to show you a couple of the cards that I particularly liked um, in this month's issue. This one right here is by Chris Rose. And the thing I love best about this card is she uses the buttons on the very bottom to create a border. Now Chris could have just as easily used a strip of paper to create that same effect, but it wouldn't have had just that same pop that the buttons do. And then of course to add a little extra whimsy, she went ahead and tied some string through the buttons. It really, really added a great punch to this card. Now the next card that I want to show you is, is probably my favorite. This is by Karina Lindholm. And I think I love it because it's so simple. All she did was used a piece of craft um, just some regular craft paper, and use some twine, which is really hot right now, um, to create a grid. And then she just simply randomly placed buttons on the grid. Not only is this, is this card inexpensive, um, easy to do, but it really is unique. I don't know that I've ever seen one like this, and I love that she, she didn't even need to use pattern paper. So that was a great idea. Now, this card on the end, I think, is absolutely adorable. And, and you know, whimsy and fun is, 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 would definitely be the words I would use to describe this card. You can see she's just created some simple cupcakes and then used buttons to top, um, to top the, the cupcake off, like a little cherry or something like that. Um, great, great ideas. But buttons are really fun to replace the letter O in phrases. Um, if you have a bicycle, you can replace the bikes with buttons. Just think in, sh in terms of shapes, in terms of circles. But you can also remember that buttons come in other shapes as well. But just next time that you do your project, think of one spot on your page that you can replace the, a, a circle with a button. And I think you'll be really um, thrilled with the, with the effect. Okay, the last thing I wanted to show with you was this awesome card that was featured on the front cover. Um, this is by Mona Robinson, and I just think that this card is really fun, it's simple, uh, it has just a really nice um, a finish to it. And of course, she combined by, you know, kind of the two thoughts of the day, and she used a little button right here. But this card is just one that you could recreate and duplicate over and over again. Now, you might ask yourself, hmm, what would I really do with a, a Halloween card? Well, besides people's birthdays and Halloween, one thing that I love to do is I love to do little neighbor packages or little packages for some of the, the kids around the block that I am especially close to. And that's where I love to do tags. Um, kind of simplify the card. Um, instead of having you know, something larger like that, you can cut it down to a little tag, add a little, treat, little piece of candy, or simply use the tag to attach on the top of you know, maybe some cookies or some other kinds of treats. So this was a great idea by uh, Vanessa Menholm. And one thing that I love that she added to this was a little bit of black lace. I think it just kind of added a fun, spooky effect to it. So I want you to go ahead and Pull out all of your Halloween um, and fall scrapbook supplies. Take a look at our, car, our October cards issue and start creating some fun Halloween projects today.